Bandaged and badly bruised, 42-year-old Arielis stands with his Brooklyn community just days after he was attacked on Eastern Parkway. I don't understand why, you know, they had to pick me. Police say the Orthodox Jewish man was punched in the face repeatedly about a week and a half ago, left with broken ribs and a broken nose. I wonder, do people realize this is anti-Semitism? We would like people to help us to locate the person who committed this horrible attack on an innocent person. Dozens calling for justice at the corner of Schenectady Avenue and Rutland Road. Being able to walk down the street without being hurt is a civil right that every person has. At the Crown Heights intersection, another Jewish man was assaulted Saturday afternoon while walking home from the synagogue. I greeted them, hello, and, and go and continue. Next thing I know is that the first, they said, I don't like Jews. Uh, I, who are you talking to? I, I don't talk to Jews. He put me in a headlock and I'm trying to maneuver out of him. And he's, in the meantime, I'm screaming, help, help, help. And the next thing, and he says, you don't need help. Or we're going to kill you right here. The 52-year-old got a black eye, broken rib, and scratches after he says the suspect beat him for about five minutes. Two good Samaritans were eventually able to pull the man off. People get very, very nervous about what exactly is going on. The Anti-Defamation League is offering a $5,000 reward for any information leading to convictions in these cases. The thing we know is that, unfortunately, there are people out there that want to kill us for one reason, because we are a Jew. NYPD's Hate Crime Task Force is investigating both incidents and has not yet been determined if they are connected. In the meantime, though, the 71st Precinct here is keeping a closer eye on the neighborhood here. In Crown Heights, Brooklyn, Rena Roy, CBS 2 News.